We're doing an unboxing. We're doing three capable, affordable, truly wireless earphones that you can get delivered to your home right now. friends so present circumstances dictate that a lot of us work from home right now and well because of that i know that a lot of you have been asking this question where can you find affordable but capable truly wireless earphones that can be delivered to your home in this video we're going to be unboxing and checking out three earphones from soundbeat sent over by digital walker i've been hearing a lot of rave reviews about this brand they say that these are very capable truly wireless earphones and they're cheap ass and so yeah, without further ado, let's see what these earphones are all about, starting with the Soundbeats True Free Plus. Right, so these are the Soundbeats True Free Plus. It says here that there are dual dynamic drivers on here, truly wireless earbuds. Bluetooth 5.0 auto pairing. 35 hours working time and hi-fi sound. So this retails for 1,990 pesos on Digital Walker. Let's get to it. How do I? Ooh. <gasps> These things are so there. Ooh. So you can see that thing has texture and then it says sound beats over there. But let's see what else is in here first. So we have USB to micro USB cord. Ooh, the ear thingies. Manual. Right, I don't normally read manuals, but in the case of wireless earphones, they're pretty useful because I usually get confused. So these are the true free pluses. It is this thick. I, I'm not sure if those are indicator lights. On the back, it's a micro USB charging port. Ooh, those are tiny. So those are actually super tiny. Like I expected them to be bigger because it's a bulkier case. Wow, these are small. This is also a button, right? time to set up. So I had no problem connecting the Soundbeats True Free Plus to the LG V50. After connecting for the first time, they will connect automatically to your phone. In fact, these earphones once stole the connection from the other earphones when I took them out of the case. So at least we know the connection works well. There are buttons on the buds itself, which is great for people who want that more tactile feel. You can play your pause by pressing once. You can also answer calls, reject calls, and activate your voice assistant through the buds. Oh, and there is a mono mode, meaning you can use one bud at a time and they'll still work. So like I said, these things are tiny and they're pretty comfortable in my ears. They don't easily fall off and I'm using the ear thingies that are the smallest. There is no active voice cancellation, but because these are in-ear buds, like, it sort of blocks out a lot of outside sound and noises. So these truly wireless earphones actually have mics in them and you're actually listening to audio recorded with those mics. So, hi, this is a test. On the buds itself, there's four hours of playtime and on that case, you can recharge them nine more times. Next up, we have the Soundbeats True Dots. This is actually my favorite out of the three because it's so tiny. Even the case is tiny. It's actually the cheapest of the three. Aside from that, this has Qualcomm app text, which supposedly should mean that there's better sound quality. Let's go. The Soundbeats True Dot. So it says here that this is touch control and then Bluetooth 5.0, Aptex decode. So that means it's a Qualcomm chip. Full touch controls, bio compound drivers, and voice. So there are mics on this. Right, let's open this up. Like, I don't know why I keep on ruining the boxes. These are, so, oh my God. Oh, these are way smaller. 
So we have the same micro USB earphones manual. Oh, these are tiny. I like these. Micro USB charging port at the bottom. For comparison, this is the True Dot Buds side by side with the True Free Plus Buds that we unboxed first. Ooh, even tinier. I like. So, this doesn't seem to be a button, but it's touch controlled. So, yeah, that looks awesome. I like these. These are cute and tiny. Again, there were no problems with connections. It automatically connects to your phone after the first pairing. Admittedly, out of all the three buds I will unbox in this video, this felt the most comfy in my ear. So this pair might be the perfect ones for people with tinier ears like me. Unlike the True Free Plus, this pair only has touch controls, meaning there are no actual buttons. So double tap to play or pause, hold and press the right button to go to next song, do the same on the left to go to the previous song, double tap to answer calls, triple tap for your voice assistant, and more. Again, there's a mono mode, meaning you can use each bud separately. Of course, this pair also has mics on it, and yes, this is a recording of those mics being put to use. The Soundbeats True Dots has five hours of playtime and with that teeny case you can charge them 3.5 times over last but not the least and definitely an airpods dupe this is the soundbeats true capsule and this retails for 1690 pesos these earphones are cheap for what they are anyway let's do this we have the Soundbeats True Capsule. It says here, touch control, truly wireless earbuds, Bluetooth 5.0, full touch controls, 24 hour working time, and there's also a mic on this. Please don't let me rip the box. Oh my God. Ah! Dude. There are those ear thingies. USB, micro USB, manual. Ooh. Nice. So there's sort of a foam thing up there. I'm imagining that so it doesn't hit when it closes. Light over there. Micro USB port. Ooh. So it's slightly longer than the true free one, but I think around the same thickness. This is the true dot, which is like way smaller than either two. I actually really like the true dot. Like the two other earphones, I had no problem connecting. This pair automatically connects to after initial pairing. So one thing, I just want to say that the true capsules are better at staying in my ear than actual AirPods. At least the first generation ones. There are touch controls on this, so you can just tap, double tap, or do a long press, but there are no swipe gestures. Again, both earbuds can work alone. Playtime for these are 4.5 hours, and using the case, you can recharge 5 more times. And finally, this also has mics. So, hi, this is the mic test. Test, test. Yep. So, I did try all these buds and listen to my Ear Things playlist. And each one of these buds have good full sound. Bass sounds awesome. And even if none of them has active noise cancellation, in general use settings, they're able to block out sounds really well. If you're planning to choose between these three buds, I think the consideration would be what shape or controls you'd prefer and what your personal preferences are. Like if you want a smaller one with a smaller case or bigger battery with more charge cycles. I mean, at this point, they all sound great. So that's the only thing that you'll have to consider. 
And those, ladies and gentlemen, are three truly wireless earphones that are super cheap and capable that you can have delivered to your home now. You can order these on Digital Walker or if you're outside of the Philippines, you can check them out on Amazon. I'll put some links below. That's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, this helps you make your work from home setup more productive. If you have comments and suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to get to know more, more about what I do on a daily basis or how I use this tech in my everyday life, you can find me on social media. That's at Sisa Said. Until next time, I hope you're safe and healthy. Happy listening. Bye!